Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name's Jesse and I do all kinds of videos on cryptocurrency, stocks and shares and personal finance. So if that's of any interest to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all my latest videos. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an update on my crypto portfolio. Given it's been quite a while since I've done the latest update, I thought it'd be about time to show you what I've been doing in the crypto market during this quiet period and also give you an update on the current splits between the different cryptocurrencies that I'm invested in. If you haven't already checked out my previous crypto portfolio video, I'll leave a link to it up there, so make sure you go check that out first. So the current value of my portfolio sits at just over £15,000. Now, I think the last time I did a video on this, it was just over £16,000 when I did it. But luckily for me, I managed to take a huge amount of profit just before the crash actually happened. And I even indicated that there could be a potential crash in the previous crypto portfolio video that I actually did. So as I dive into the portfolio, you'll see now that the majority of my portfolio is made up of USD Tether, which is the cryptocurrency effectively that I've used in order to take profits into. So that is to hold the profits in a relatively stable cryptocurrency rather than the other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Bitcoin, which are significantly more volatile. At the time, just before the crash, as I indicated in the previous video, I ended up taking profits of around £9,000 and then since the crash I've gradually been putting that money back into other cryptocurrencies while those cryptocurrencies were at a significantly lower price. So you can see since the crash I've probably put in around £2,000 back into other cryptocurrencies and I think I pretty much evenly spread it across all the cryptocurrencies that I'm invested. So I also only updated this tracker this morning hence why it looks like there's been huge amounts of gains just in the last 24 hours as you can see here but that's not necessarily true. I only managed to update this portfolio this morning. If you're interested in knowing how I track my portfolio, I use this, I use this website called CoinMarketCap, where basically you can just add in the transactions and the cryptocurrencies that you're invested in. So it's all in one place that you can track them all rather than you might have different cryptocurrencies on different exchanges, which can make it a bit confusing in order to track the overall value of your portfolio. So that's why I use CoinMarketCap. So let's dive into it now. You can see that the majority of it, as I said, is held in USD Tether which is £7,300 worth. So the majority of it is held in USDT and USDT makes up just over 48% of my whole portfolio. But as I said, over the next couple of months, as I'm looking to drip free this money back into it, that percentage will drop and the percentage of other cryptocurrencies will increase. The next biggest one is Ethereum, where I hold 0.5 at £1,100. And that currently makes up 7.69% of my portfolio. The next one is Bitcoin, where I hold 0.03 Bitcoin at a value of also £1,100. Next one is Polkadot, where I hold 51 Polkadots at a total value of £827. Synthetics, where I hold 90 at a total value of £806. Solana, where I hold 22 at £698. FTX token, or FTT, where I hold 20 coins at £685. Thorchain or Rune, where I hold 115 at 640 pounds. Serum, where I hold 153 at 557 pounds. Cardano or Ada, where I hold 255 of them at 398 pounds. Next one is XRP, where I hold 402 at 351 pounds. I then hold some Crypto.com coin or CRO, where I hold 2,500 coins at a, at a total value of 267 pounds. I then hold six pancake swap tokens at a value of £88, 0.28 of ARV at a value of £85, 0.25 Binance coins at £73, 55 Oxy tokens at £62, and then finally 11 Ray tokens at a total value of £40. So as you can see, I'm highly diversified across multiple different cryptocurrencies. So I'll put on screen now a little pie chart which shows the percentage that each of the cryptocurrencies currently make up of my total crypto portfolio. So as you can see, USDT, as I stated, is where most of the money is now held in, which represents 48% of my whole portfolio. I've got Ethereum at 7.7%, Bitcoin 7.4%. Next one is Polkadot at 5.5%, Synthetics 5.3%, Sol 4.6%, FTT at 4.5%, Rune at 42 SRM 3.7%, ADA 2.6%, XRP 2.3%, CRO 1.8% and then the remaining Cake, R, BNB and Oxy and Ray all take up less than 1% of the overall portfolio. That's because I see these ones as being slightly more risky compared to the other cryptocurrencies. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video of my current portfolio update and I'll try to do these updates a bit more regularly so that I can keep you up to date of potentially any changes that I do make to this crypto portfolio in case you want to keep your portfolio aligned similar to what I've got here. If you have enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future portfolio update videos. If you're totally new to cryptocurrency and you don't really know where to start I'll leave a link to a video that I've done below where I basically detail how I would invest £1,000 as a beginner into the cryptocurrency market. If you're a total beginner make sure to check that video out down in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.